All right, Rich Van Tassel back with you, doing our player profile. And for this one, we are discussing the defending rookie of the year, Andrew Wiggins. Uh, improved his numbers this year, having a good season, and certainly uh, gives Minnesota a bright future. Just looking at it here, Andrew Wiggins is averaging over 20 points per game this season at 20.8. He's almost certainly going to finish uh, above the 20-point-per-game mark. Last year, he averaged just under 17 at 16.9. Last year, he shot 43.7%, um, so we'll say 44% from the field. This year, he's shooting 459 so 46% from the field. His three-point average has dipped from 31 to just above 30 this year. Uh, it isn't really good either way. That's something he's going to have to work on. His free throw percentage, which was 76 last year, 75.9 this year. So certainly, he is still um, right there. His assist numbers are exactly the same from last year. That's one area I'd like to see him improve. He's at 2.1 uh, for both years, so he's right on the uh, edge there, or right at the mark there, and his reboundings have decreased a little bit. Now, I would expect that because you have the new rookie, Carl Anthony Towns, who's absolutely a monster on the glass and almost certainly going to be rookie of the year this year. Now, Andrew Wiggins... Uh, frankly, I think the Cavaliers should have just kept that pick and drafted Andrew Wiggins. You could play him at shooting guard with Kyle, or Ky, Kyle, Kyrie Irving running the point and LeBron James. They decided to trade for Kevin Love. And, of course, there's been that circus since then. But I think Andrew Wiggins is a much more explosive player. He's obviously younger, and he's a guy who can score the basketball. Now, on a team like Cleveland, would that have led to some problems because you have uh, too many guys who need the ball? Uh, I suppose so. But I just think he's all around a better player than Kevin Love. And Cleveland, I think, made a mistake trading that overall pick. Now, as far as this works with Minnesota, you have Carl Anthony Towns, who is having a very good season this year. Like we said, he's going to get my vote for Rookie of the Year, as he's almost going to get everyone else's vote. You know, 18.2 points, 10.5 rebounds, and 1.7 blocks per game. He may even get an all-defensive team award as well. He's been that impressive. So the future certainly looks very good for the Minnesota Timberwolves. There's been some discussion that Kevin Garnett is looking to come back next year. Um, I, as much as I love Kevin Garnett as a Celtics fan, if he's not going to play, then at this point I would say just retire. Uh, they want him there for leadership and all that. His numbers have been terrible this year. You look at Minnesota, 27-52, and 52, not a great season. Can they win out to get the 30 wins? That would be um, certainly a good accomplishment. They did only win 16 games last year, so they've already improved it by 11. They had that big win over the Golden State Warriors uh, in Golden State. So certainly there's signs of improvement there, and you got to like what you see. It's been 11 years since the Minnesota Timberwolves have been to the playoffs, but I think with the resurgence of, or the emergence that is of both Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns we'll see whatever happens with Ricky Rubio a guy who's played very well uh, or very hard that is um, for a losing team I got to give Ricky Rubio credit there but certainly I think there's a lot in play for the Minnesota Timberwolves moving forward and Andrew Wiggins is certainly at the center of that very smooth game I was watching that Warrior game the other night um, can finish with both hands. He's just an all-around scorer, and he's going to be a sensational player in this league. So I would keep looking for Andrew Wiggins to improve, and who knows, not anytime soon, but I would expect if he can get this team winning, especially with Carl Anthony Towns, you would have to expect this guy could potentially be an MVP at some point, but that's years off. So we'll take a break right now and be back in just a couple minutes. Thank you.